good part of the day for people who are studying in 10th grade. Are you ready for English lesson? Good job! Today we have lesson 1b Uzbek literature. Before starting our lesson, let's check your home task, activity number 1. In this activity, you had to put the words in order and make up sentence. Let's revise the sentence structure in English. This is the most common word order in an English statement. Who, what, how, where, when, why. Who, subject, what, verb, or object, how, manner, where, place, when, time, why, reason, or purpose. For example, Aziz drives his car carefully in the city center in the evening because of traffic jam. Who, Aziz, verb, drives, what, his car, how, carefully, where, in city center, when, in the evening, why, because of the traffic jam. Let's check your sentence. The first one. Otkur Hoshimov studied at the philology faculty of the Tashkent State University after finishing secondary school. The second. In Tashkent and Bukhara, there are streets and school named after Ftrat. The third. Ftrat's the 110th anniversary was celebrated throughout the country in 1996. Fourth, according to decree of the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Ftrat was awarded with Navai and Mustakalik Odin bonuses. Fifth, when he was a leaf, Ftrat's work were translated into various languages and highly Praise it. And the sixth one, Ftrat's heritage has been investigated by creative philosophers and lawyers such as Ergashev and Tashkoziev. Okay, dears, it is time for activity four on page 160. The rule read the passage below and fill in the gaps with the names of characters of the famous epoch, the Alpomish. Then the names are given in the box. Let's read it. You can find this box on page 160. Boysara, Alpomish, the Alpomish, Barchin, Baibura, Kongrat, Kalmuk, Taichahan, and Kalmuk Shah. Okay, dears, you have 10 seconds. Please look through the text. Then we will fill in gaps together. Time is going. Thank you. What do you think? What word is suitable for the first gap? Good job. It is the Alpamish, the name of the epoch. And uh, what about second? Good. Alpamish. What about third? It is Barchin. Fourth. Good job. Boysara. What about fifth? Thank you. Boybore. And six. Kungarat. Seventh one. Thank you. It is Boybore. Second part. Eight. Your answer. Good. Boysara. What about ninth? Thank you. Boy Bora. Thanks. Kalmik Shah. Eleven. Barchin. What about twelve? Deutsche Han. And thirteen. Kalmik. What about last one? 
Thank you. It is Barchan. So, dears, let's move activity number five on page 160. In this activity, you have to complete the table. You should find out the synonym for the word seldom, it is adjective, adaptation, noun, definitely, adverb, character, noun, successful, adjective, get shocked, it is collocation, and imagine, it is verb. So, I give you one minute, please. Find out synonym for all words and try to write sentence if you can. If you cannot, you can leave this task as a homework. So, the first one is example for you. Seldom, synonym, not often. A sentence with it. He seldom watches TV. So, are you ready? Did you open your notebook? Good job. In that case, your time is going. Thank you. Your time is over. Are your answers ready? Here are the key for you. Let's begin with the second word because we have done the first one, the second. Adaptation. Synonym. It means change. Sentence with it. It takes some time for adaptation. The third, definitely. The synonym, certainly. Sentence, you are definitely right. And the next word is character. It is noun, means quality. And the sentence, he has razor negative character. The word successful means lucky. The next, he started a successful project. The next, get shocked means be surprised, I got shocked by exam results. The word imagine, it is verb, means to think, imagine you are eating an apple. It is time to activity 6 on page 161. In this activity, you should answer the questions about your favorite book. Let's read the questions. The first, who is the author of the book? Second, where do the events happen? The third, who are the main characters? Fourth, the most exciting part of the story. And fifth, who would this book be the best suitable? Now I have audio. Let's listen it together. This is one student's answer for these questions. Are you ready? Let's listen in that case. It's impossible to be an educated person without good books. Most of the books are to be read just once. Others can be read plenty of times. And each time you find something new and useful as you turn the same page of your favorite books. I'm fond of books about adventures and great people, detective stories and science fiction. I enjoy reading them when I have spare time. But my favorite book of all times is novel Three Comrades, written by German writer Eric Maria Remaka. 
This book was recommended to me by my grandfather and I am very grateful to him for that advice. It was really worth reading. Three Comrades is a book about love and friendship of three common people, Robert, Otto, Gottfried, who lived in Germany between Second World War. The main characters are real friends who struggle together with poverty and violence and they manage to preserve their dignity and humanity. The story of beautiful and tragic love between Robert and Pat is heartbreaking because the girl dies of tuberculosis. I find the book very powerful and deeply moving. It teaches people to find the inner strength to answer to some question. And the most important part is that how Robert teaches Otto how to be a thoughtful and optimistic person. He teaches Otto to find the inner strength to answer to some questions and how to be in a told world. And I think this book is suitable for all people upper the 17th age because this novel is quite challenging for young people. In addition, this novel told me how to be a perfect, optimistic and thoughtful person in this life. It often helps me when I find myself in a difficult situation and I need an answer to some questions. It's my great friend and teacher. Thank you, dears. Now, we should do an activity according to this audio. So, please open your notebook, write questions, but leave a space between questions, because you should listen it again and write down answers for each question. Open your notebook, write questions like this, and leave a space for answers. Did you write? Good. Let's listen one more time in that case. It's impossible to be an educated person without good books. Most of the books are to be read just once. Others can be read plenty of times. And each time you find something new and useful as you turn the same page of your favorite books. I'm fond of books about adventures and great people, detective stories and science fiction. I enjoy reading them when I have spare time. But my favorite book of all times is novel Three Comrades, written by German writer Eric Maria Remaka. This book was recommended to me by my grandfather and I am very grateful to him for that advice. It was really worth reading. Three Comrades is a book about love and friendship of three common people, Robert, Otto, Gottfried, who lived in Germany between Second World War. The main characters are real friends who struggle together with poverty and violence and they manage to preserve their dignity and humanity. The story of beautiful and tragic love between Robert and Pat is heartbroken because the girl dies of tuberculosis. I find the book very powerful and deeply moving. It teaches people to find the inner strength to answer to some question. And the most important part is that how Robert teaches Otto how to be a thoughtful and optimistic person. He teaches Otto to find the inner strength to answer to some questions and how to be in a told world. And I think this book is suitable for all people upper the 17th age because this novel is quite challenging for young people. In addition, this novel told me how to be a perfect, optimistic and thoughtful person in this life. It often helps me when I find myself in a difficult situation and I need an answer to some questions. It's my great friend and teacher. Thank you, dears. Let's check your answers. The first, who is the author of the book? The book's name is Three Comrades by Eric Maria Remarca. The second question, where does the event happen? Germany. Who are the main characters? Robert, Otto and Gottfried. 
the force, the most exciting part of the story. It is Robert's tragic love story. Fifth, who would this book be the best suitable for people over 17? It is time to your homework. Your first homework, as usual, make a list of the vocabulary which you have learned today. The second, answer the questions about your favorite book. Please, write your answers or record your answers, send it to your teacher. Thank you for your attention. I do appreciate it. See you next time.